Yo, what's up guys? Axel Vasquez here and I am so excited to kick off episode one of how to edit your photo. So today we're going to focus on how to create smooth, realistic looking skin on Photoshop. I've noticed the last few years creating photos, shooting weddings, doing portrait sessions myself that one of the hardest things to achieve is smooth skin that looks real. So I thought that'd be a great first video for us to jump into. Let's go. So what you're gonna see here is a photo of my friend Rachel in Lightroom Classic 2020. And I kind of went in prior and kind of edited some stuff, put some LUTs in and made it kind of fit my vibe before doing the skin edit. So kind of that's the before, that's the current, right? So we're gonna jump in and what I do is that I go into Photoshop first. So I'll go in, hit Command E. So once you open up Photoshop, what I do is copy the background. So it's gonna be Command J on your main layer and now you have a duplication of your main photo. So once you do that, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna do Command I, you're gonna invert the photo. Looks great. <laughs> and then you're gonna go again, just clicking that duplicated layer. You're gonna go in and go to Vivid Light. Looks even better. So once you hit Vivid Light, you're gonna come up here and go to High, pass filter and once it loads you want this number to be at 24 and it's gonna look like this that's without it that's with it we're getting a little bit closer which just a few steps away now you hit OK now you go back to filter and you want to go to Gaussian blur Gaussian blur make sure you go to box blur blur more anything go to Gaussian blur and here you're gonna to want to flirt between three to five so right now the five is a little bit too so I want to go to three and I like that glow that you kind of see. And I'm gonna hit OK. So once you did all that, what you wanna do is put it on a vector mask. So you wanna hit Option or Hold Option, and hit here, Add Layer Mask. Now what that layer mask is gonna do is put it on a black layer that's basically invisible, and with a brush, we're gonna bring it back in the areas that we want. It. That's really important. So now that we have that and it's on our layer mask, we're gonna hit B, and it's gonna give us our brush tool. We're gonna to zoom in. And now you're gonna see now with the black being your foreground, nothing's coming in, right? Now if we go in and we hit X, it's gonna switch from black to white. And now because we're on a black layer, white's gonna reveal what's on the black layer, right? So now we go in and you're gonna see, now it's smoothening the skin. So we're gonna do that. Now keep in mind, it's gonna look a little fake as we bring it in. So just watch and you'll see some of the details that we do to make sure that it looks real at the end, okay? So we'll go in and we're just gonna go through some of the areas and I'm going back and forth by hitting dash and dash lets me go back and forth between our red layer and it just lets me see what areas I've selected so far. So let's go back. And really when I do this, I try to keep it in realistic areas. So like foreheads, a little bit under the eyes, but there's areas that if we are, like if the shadows are really hard, I try to keep away from because it looks really fake. So I go in here and want to just smooth this out a little bit more. I want to stay away from what's going on right here, so I'm going to hit that again. So right now I'm in a pretty happy place with it, right? So as you see, it looks a little extra. <laughs> It looks a little extra. That's okay. What we're gonna do now is go to opacity up here. I wanna mess with some different stuff, so I'm gonna bring it down to 50 and see how that looks. All right, so I did a little bit more touching and here's how it looks with it and here's how it looks without it. Without it, with it. Um, and you can kind of mess, like you can have it like, let's see how it looks like, 75. All right, so I really like the glow gives here let's do 65 yeah I think I think we found a good spot right there yep so now what we're gonna do is go into Lightroom and use the spot removal tool to take away some blemishes and some extra stuff okay so the spot removal tool is super cool because you're gonna click on an area and Lightroom is gonna go in and pick another section of the photo that kind of has some contrast and same colors and blend it in to make it smoother right so it's gonna look real or Hopefully it looks real. We're gonna go in and kind of just select some different areas. And I think I think that's good. So as a whole here, like you really can't tell, but if you hit dash, that's before, that's after, before, after. 
So I'm pretty happy with that. The last thing we're gonna use is the brush tool. And we're gonna do the iris enhance. So what that's gonna do is whatever spot we kind of paint over is gonna enhance that, make it a little bit more saturated and pop out. So then we can make those eyes stick out a little bit more. And yeah, so this is before, it's after. And again, it's nothing crazy, but when you're out here, you can totally see that. So once you do the iris enhance, the last thing I do is crop it a little bit and bring it to where I want it to. So once I crop it in, I'm kind of happy with that. And I think that looks dope, man. We started with this, a great photo, beautiful model, but we just wanted to tweak it a little bit to this. Sweet, so now you know how to create smooth looking skin in Photoshop and in Lightroom. Quick, easy, fun. Please comment below any suggestions, any ideas. Did I make this too difficult? Does it look good? Does it look bad? Do you have other suggestions? How do you edit your skin? I want to know all that. Comment below, share the video, like it, do all those crazy stuff, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.